Quickly everybody get your beverage of choice, the news is starting! <laughs> I thought I spice it up today. Hello everybody, it's me, Unfriendly Porcupine, and let the news begin. So who do we have here? We have a uh, Mr. Krabs weird experimental project that somehow got into the He-Man universe. <laughs> that thing right there, this Mr. Krabs robot. Okay, maybe I've been watching a little bit too much Spongebob. But who do you get in the set? You get three figures. You get He-Man, of course, himself. This is not Tila, but someone else that I do not know because I do not watch enough He-Man. And then you also get this figure, which is probably the bad guy who owns this Mr. Krabs. Hey, this guy has outdone Mr. Krabs. Also, he gets an interesting weapon, we will, which we will go into. Further detail, let's start with this, the crab hands. Look at this awesome feature. You can actually have the crab hands grip someone. Also, the crab hands are gripping him in a... In a spot I don't want to talk about. <laughs> Regardless, what do you get from these crab hands? You get a ball joint piece over there. You also get a ball joint piece over here. So there's multiple ways to move it. I like how the clippers can actually clip, which is the crab hands, not clippers, but they can actually move. Plus, these little pegs right here really do make it look like they're sharp. Anyways, enough of that. Moving on to the next photo, we have this. Showing off more fun play. There we go. Now He-Man is being grabbed in the correct position. <laughs> Moving on, yeah, that looks awesome. Also, this thing right here incorporates some playability features. Could it be that this thing actually controls the crab hands? Maybe. We have to get more details to understand what it actually does. Here's the figure that you get. Overall, I'd say this figure looks excellent. You also get these little arm pads. They're not like the mask mold from the Call of Duty video, if you've seen this video. Seven ways to use this piece. Yeah, they're not like that, they're more of the... They're also not super similar to the TMNT one. I mean, yes they are. If you think about Michelangelo, TMNT, out of the shadows, you know that yellow wristband, just in black color. That's what that piece is right there. For the head mold, well, you get the unique head mold. You also get the unique hood. So if you want to do interesting stuff with that, be my guest. The figure is also well painted, and you also get this interesting crossbow. Yay, Mega Construx is making new molds, I like it. On top of that, you also get this nice red cape. Moving on, you can see both figures in more or less detail. <laughs> also, I really appreciate that they actually painted his boots, or should I say feet. Just that little extra, you know, difference, ha rather than just having it all one color. Good job, Mega Constructs. Plus, I also like him and shield. And custom overall, looks nice. Moving on, we have a better photo of He-Man and that other female figure that I do not know the name of, but I know it's not Tila. Moving on to the next set, it's Skeletor in Twisted Metal. Well, if he wasn't Twisted Metal, this is what I would imagine him to be like, so yeah, he might as well be Twisted Metal Skeletor. You get the figure and you get the vehicle. What did this vehicle consist of? Well, it consists of these awesome blue tank threads. Well, they're not really tank threads, unless you consider the pickle tank a tank, well then yes, they are tank threads. But I consider them more of the drone Call of Duty threads. Have you seen those ones? Have you seen this one? These are all different sets that they use that piece. And it works very, very well. Plus, you get it in blue color. So if you want to swap out your Call of Duty ones with blue color threads, now you can do that. I like it. Also, look at that front design. I'm telling you, man, that is savage as fuck. I love those teeth. I'm curious as to how the whole thing actually came together. It seems like the teeth are a brick-based thing. I mean, everything's brick-based, but like attached by stats kind of brick-based and not peg-based. That's the way it looks like to me. What do you guys think? All I know is that it's an awesome build. On top of that, you also get an excellent eye print over there, and you get, of course, all of the weapons, because otherwise it wouldn't be Twisted Metal without them. And of course, here is Skeletor. He really does look like he belongs in Twisted Metal. Moving on, we also have another better image of the Zombie He-Man. Yeah, I was not expecting Zombie He-Man to be this excellent green transparent color. Plus, the inside of the skull is transparent green. I really like that color. Mega Construct should use it a lot more. I also like the goo that they threw into the teeth. I 
really, really makes it look so much better. It just adds so much to it. And last but not least, the big signature series for Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe. Boom! Check out that beauty. Yeah, I'm calling it a signature series because this is such a big set and probably is a signature series. Now you're probably wondering, another He-Man signature series? What about Halo, the Cash Cow, or Call of Duty, which hasn't had one in a long time? Now, I don't know about you, but it seems like Mattel wants to push Mega Constructs to release more Master of the Universe line sets since Mattel owns Master of the Universe and that's kind of like their own line. Seems like they're pushing that more. I would think Halo would have got another signature series, but hey, I'm glad that we're getting signature series. Enough of that. Just check that out. You get a big humongous snake, you get multiple floors, you get a lot of bricks, you get stairs, you get... <laughs> you get a lot in this signature series set, clearly. Also, does that look like a porcupine head? A rhino porcupine head? Ha, huh, interesting. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure what all that's about, but I really, really like the design of that snake. Moving on, we can see another angle with the snake. Moving on, here's some more interior. So, with this image, we can see, wow, there's going to be some playability on the back side of the set. I like it. Plus, it also seems like it falls, kind of similar to the Castle Grayskull. Also, it seems like you get a little tiny prison over there, similar to Castle Grayskull. Moving on, you also get some things that you can take apart. Like a chair, a table, a ladder that can come down, very nice, this thing, and some tentacles. Moving on, you can see right here, yes, the thing can fall. Here is it fully closing up. Other angle. Ooh, ooh, and look at that. Also get lava! Well my comrades, I hope you've enjoyed the news that I brought for you today. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care of my comrades. <laughs>